So you want to learn how to use Nacho Engine's mocap mod to use motion capture in your Gorilla Tag animations too? I got you. First thing you need to do is get the Gorilla Tag motion capture mod and motion capture add-on for Blender from Nacho Engine's Patreon. I'll have it linked in the description. Once you download the files, you'll have Monkey Mocap DLL and Monkey Mocap Add-on.zip. Put this zip file wherever you keep your Blender add-ons. Next, you'll want to make sure that you have a modded version of Gorilla Tag. To do that, first go down to the link in the description for the GitHub and download the monkeymodmanager.exe. Then open Monkey Mod Manager, and you'll want to be sh sure that Bepinex is selected, as well as go down to the bottom and make sure the Utila is selected, and press install slash update. Once you've done that, go to Steam, locate Gorilla Tag and right click it, go down to Manage, and Browse Local Files. Now inside the Bepinex folder, go into Plugins, and then now you'll want to go ahead and create a folder called Monk Mocap, and be sure to spell it exactly the way I do here. And then we can drag our DLL and put it right into that folder. Now let's go ahead and launch Gorilla Tag. Okay, so now once you're in game, you'll press X and grip to open up the monkey mocap menu. The plus sign is to start a new motion capture. The eyeball is to show slash hide the trackers on the gorilla. The camera button is to start or stop recording. And then the square with the plus in it is to reset the world origin. Now once you've done all that, you'll want to go back into that Gorilla Tag game folder by locating Gorilla Tag again, right clicking it, and browse local files. Then we'll go back to Bepinex, plugins, and we'll go to monkey mocap, mocap data, and now here we have our mocap data that we just recorded. So let's go ahead and open up Blender. Now I'm going to press open and I'm going to look for the file I want. I'm looking for Nacho Engine's Gorilla Tag Player IK Blender Rig that he has up on his Patreon. Now once I have all that open, I want to go up here to Edit, Preferences, go to Add-ons, and Install. And now I'm going to look for that area where I stored the Motion Capture Add-on. Here it is, Monkey Mocap Add-on. So I'm going to Install Add-on, I'm going to look for it in here. And I'm going to make sure it's selected right here, make sure it's checked on. So then I'm going to select the rig and I'm going to press add trackers. It's going to crumble up into a little ball like a piece of paper. Then I'm going to press import mocap data and I'm going to search for my gorilla tag files. Once I'm here back in mocap data, I'm just going to select one of these motion capture datas and I'm going to press import mocap data. You'll, now you'll notice that he's not in the middle of the scene, that's perfectly fine. That's actually because he's way out here because if we had an actual map loaded in, then he would be in tree stump, which is not at the world origin. So let's go ahead and center our view up on him and view the motion capture. Look at there. But there's still one more step. Just to make sure we don't lose any of our precious progress, let's go ahead and bake our animation. Perfect, now I can see how long it goes for and adjust my project to be exactly that. And look at there, it's exactly what I was doing in game. Now what I can do is file, append, and I can go to one of Nacho Engine's other maps. And I'll append a collection, I'll append, and I'll append tree room. Now let's look in here. And we have the exact scene from earlier, from in game. And that's pretty much all you need to know to get started with the monkey mocap mod. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out Nacho Engine's other content as well as mine. I'll have his channel linked down in the description below.